Hello, Carrots here. Welcome to part 26 of the 30 grandchildren badge attempt. The current household, most of them are at home doing the usual chores. There's always gardening to do. The garden is there for two reasons, for them to learn gardening skill and for Jerry, the mother of this lot, to get her lifetime wish. And I'm having difficulty coping with the thought that after all this time, she has only got three out of the required eight perfect plants in her garden. Kobe's given up his gardening. He loves to garden and he also loves to paint. And there he is painting. He does lots of brilliant paintings and masterpieces now. He's a very good little sim at painting. And he's been level 10 at gardening for many episodes now. And he still runs down there to, to do his part in maintaining that garden. Garden. The two that need to do the gardening at the moment are Kathy with the pink hair and Percy with the man with the long dark hair. They're both going to move out in this episode when they've got enough skills and read enough books. They're both imaginary friends made real. Kathy was Sharonda's imaginary friend. Percy was Kobe's imaginary friend. And they're both learning a collection of skills and reading fishing bait books and recipes to prepare them for life on their own as townies. I found this pair chatting. They're both townies. The one on the right holding the toddler is Ursula Gammon and she's a witch. The one on the left is Claudette Cameron. I think she's actually in my studio because I made her when I set up my new computer and I did some base game only sims and then I added a few more expansion packs and stuff packs and things and made her and put her up. There is Percy reading recipes or a fishing book. Both Percy and Kathy in the pink hair, they both got books to read. There's others that need to garden and also need to read books but they're not urgent because they don't get urgent until they're about to leave the home. Two family members who are about to leave this episode. I've well, only one family member really and that's Felicia and her future husband is going to go with her of course. They're going to leave on their vacation shortly. They're going to go to a world that I haven't played in before but I've been having a look at it and it looks really good. It's called Great Southern Land and it's based on Australia and it's totally flat except for a few little hills here and there. Not many. You can't climb the hills. They're just like big rocks. I'm trying to get the gardening skill up a bit by making them watch the gardening channel I found that there's not enough plants in the garden for them to do enough gardening to get their skills up. So since Jerry still needs to get more different types of perfect plant, I might get her to plant some of the really high quality plants that they've already harvested instead of fresh seeds and see if she can get her count of perfect plants up a bit and also have a bigger garden there. You've got to be careful with the garden. Some, if it gets too big, well then the game just shuts down on me. Um, and do, it's doing that anyway at the moment with all these sims in the household. But if I don't have enough plants in the garden, well then I can't get my gardening skills up to make them read books and watch TV instead of gardening. The ones we've got sitting there now, well that's Megan over in the corner. And then that chap there playing computer games is Frank. He's Felicia's husband to be. And then there is Kathy and Percy. At some point during this episode, each of Felicia, Frank... Kathy and Percy will be moving out of this household. Of course, Kathy and Percy are going because their imaginary friends made real, and Felicia and Frank will be moving out to live together to have babies that will become grandchildren to help us get the badge. This is Wendy. She is also training. She's got to get her fishing skill up to level 7 and her gardening up to level 7. But she won't be leaving until the next episode because she is here to be the future spouse of Wilfred. And Wilfred is the next in line to go on his vacation, which is why Wendy has been added to the household. I'm trying to keep 20 sims in the household at the moment. Don't want any more than that. Uh, so Frank's come upstairs now. He's playing an arcade game. Seems to be a bit excited about it. That's some um, sea sludge hanging on the wall just past his shoulder there. Somebody caught that right at the beginning when they were still children. Oh yes, Kathy's learning her fishing skill and Dolores is sculpting some mysterious object in wood. Now that's Felicia. She has been collecting all of the gemstones that she makes when she breaks space rocks. I'm going to see if she can cut all of the different gem cuts. I don't know if she'll make it or not because she's going to leave this household when Frank is ready to go. But I'm not going to keep them here while to get Alicia to make sure she does cut all the different types of gems. Got to get her to do something while she's waiting for that bloke to get his act together. So that is the only teenager we've got in the household at the moment. That is 
Kendall. He's going to work on his lifetime wish. He's got to get to the level 10 in painting and in photography. And he got to level 10 in painting ages ago. But I just haven't bothered taking him around getting photos. But I might do that this episode. That's Latoya. She is one of their sisters. She hasn't met her. I haven't even made her future spouse yet. I make all the future spouses in Creator Sim. We're going to go and visit a couple of other households in this episode as well because there's two babies due in town and we go and visit to them. There is a vampire gnome downstairs in the garden. You get vampire gnomes if you plant plasma fruit bushes and a little known fact is vampire gnomes can be very lucrative. The trick is you buy a whole lot of teddy bears for about 40 simoleons each and you leave them lying around where the vampire gnomes can find them and the little gnome will turn each of the teddy bears into another vampire gnome and you can sell each of those new vampire gnomes for about a thousand simoleons each. So if your sim is really poor and you need money quickly that's one way to do it. If you've got plasma fruit growing in your garden and you've got vampire gnomes. Megan's found a relatively quiet spot to sit and read one of her books. I don't think she's studying anything. I think she's just reading something that she felt like reading at the time. Looks like Kendall didn't get very far with his ice sculpture so far and Kathy is still working working hard on her fishing skill and there with Kobe and Latoya. There's a lot of chatting and hugging between the siblings at the moment. If I don't keep them busy they're just so friendly and loving towards each other. They just give each other friendly hugs. I don't often and get it on camera. They're all happy together. That'll be the car to pick up Felicia to go to work at the science facility. That toot toot you just heard. And there is their mother, Jerry, practicing her chess. And Felicia has been at work. She works at the science facility and I often find her sitting at this fountain which is right in the center of the rabbit hole. And she often just comes out of work and then sits and reads at the fountain. So I come and looking for her. Sometimes I get her on video. There it is. That's the building that she's inside of. See, it's got a cool courtyard in the middle. It's a combined hospital and science facility rabbit hole. We're all getting together to do some gardening but it's time for Kendall to work on his photography skill. He needs to get to level 10 and he got to level 3 already just by reading a skill book that they bought in Egypt. I don't think I've shown you all of the sims in the household so far but you'll get to see them as the time progresses. We've got to progress our chores for today. That one in the bikini, that's her sleepwear. That's Joni. She's one of the younger ones but she's still going to have to meet her husband and eventually get married. Kendall had a lucrative wish to learn to drive and he got lucky when his mother Jerry agreed to teach him how to drive and here they are it was dark by the time he got around to asking her but they decided to go anyway poor car it keeps on squealing he must be putting the brakes on or doing something strange he's going very slowly we won't watch him for his whole driving lesson he does get there eventually but it takes a while for him to get used to it he went through different parts of the world and he drove up and down and he did lots of U-turns to go back the way he'd come from. And eventually his lesson was over. He got his lifetime happiness points and he could drive really fast after that. So that was the driving lesson out of the way. Next thing was to get his lifetime wish. And all he's got to do is take lots of photos. He proved he had great difficulty in maintaining focus on the task at hand though. He got easily distracted when he saw a convenient dumpster. It was very inviting and he just had to go dumpster diving. But we soon got him back on track. Eventually, after a sim day or more trying, he did take enough photos to achieve his lifetime wish. Then he went home and started catching bugs and butterflies and things. Now in the last episode it had come to my attention that there were a couple of babies due around town. This couple, they're a couple of imaginary friends made real and they've decided to have a baby together. I've moved them into a house together. The game actually made them a couple and then it announced that she was pregnant. It was only after I got that message that I decided to move them in together and get them married. They will be the first imaginary friends that have become married in this world. As several of them have started relationships so there could be more in future episodes and now I am getting them married. They've gone to the My Indoor Outdoor Wedding 
venue that I built and it's in the, my studio on the Sims 3 Exchange. Now Colin was Alicia's imaginary friend made real. Alicia's of course we already moved out of the house. She's married and she's got a plant sim daughter. And Josie, Colin fortunately remembered in time that it's necessary for a sim to get engaged before they can get married. Lucky she accepted. And Josie is Lynette's imaginary friend made real. Now Josie is mean spirited so I'm hoping they're happy together. She is pregnant at the moment. She's got a red dress because when I was at boarding school many 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 years ago one of my teachers got married and she showed us her wedding dress and it was deep red and I thought how appropriate for Josie. I've dressed her in very bright colours. She seems to be that sort of a sim. Suddenly she wanted to be sick and she had to race off to find a toilet. Luckily she had no trouble locating one. It's very difficult to show you these toilets but I thought I'd let you see them. I like spent some time making those colours but the room's a bit tight to get a good picture of it for the video. Let's hope she lasts now and is okay well through the wedding. The guests won't start arriving for a while so she found a, a chess table hidden in a corner and so she sat down to practice a chess and Colin discovered a jukebox and he listened to some music before he went upstairs to explore how the area for their meal for the reception had been set up. When the guests started arriving Josie and Colin made their way across to the chapel. Josie was feeling a little stressed. She is mean-spirited as well so she probably gets stressed fairly easily. Most of the guests I think are the imaginary friends and there are a few other sims. That was Ursula Gammon that just ran in, the blonde with that grey dress on. She's the witch that we often see around town pushing a stroller or carrying a toddler. Kathy with the pink hair and that's Gwen that's just sat down near the back door and Elsa, that genie, is Jerry with the round circle cut out of the top of a dress and I can see Dennis standing in the back there with his bow tie. I don't see Dennis's wife Alicia anywhere. Alicia was the original owner of Colin and against the back wall on the left hand side of the door is Jake and Byron, their two more imaginary friends made real. I've got no control over any of these sims other than the bride and groom so it'll be interesting to see what eventuates during the ceremony. Looks like the bride is having thoughts about is she marrying the right guy? There's a really attractive Percy just turned up and she doesn't really know Percy because he's only a new imaginary friend made real. And Percy's had a haircut. He originally had that really long hair and there they go. They're exchanging their rings and Josie's got her mind totally on Percy while Colin is just thinking about his bride. There could be trouble ahead for this pair I think and now it looks like they're married. Uh oh, here comes Lynette and she's in her wedding dress. Oh dear, Lynette was the bride's original owner. It's nice that she made it to the wedding but it's a shame she turned up in her own wedding dress. Luckily she was married in blue so it sort of could pass for an ordinary formal outfit except for the flowers and her hair probably. And when the bride's heading off to work I should have fixed that. She can take some unpaid leave. I did stop Josie from leaving for work but we'll go upstairs now to where they're going to have their meal after the wedding. There's not many of them are going to show up so we'll only be here for a very short moment. At least Josie and Colin are eating and I see Percy's arrived. And there is Gwen. Gwen of course is the spouse of the first of the children to get married and move out and they've had a son. He's still a toddler. Oh, we're having some dancing downstairs. That's Byron and Lynette. Lynette of course was the original owner of Josie when she was still a doll. And Jeannie's a, and Elsa has arrived. Oh and she's going to eat something from the buffet which Colin set up earlier. I'm glad somebody's eating something from it. Now we're going to get Colin and Josie dancing at their wedding and leave the wedding now because well we've got so many other things to do and see in this episode. Now that Kendall has completed his lifetime wish he can age up to young adult so there'll be no more teens left in the household. That's Frank. The only one who's come to celebrate his birthday so far. Frank's about to go on vacation with his future spouse Felicia. Some of the others, or at least the ones who were at home at the time, eventually turned up. Oh look, there's Javin. He must be visiting. He's Gwen's husband. He was the first one to go on vacation and get married. That's him in the blue suit sort of thing with the white shirt. We've got Kobe, Latoya, Sharonda, Demetria, Dolores, Frank, Joni. Connie just showed up. So he's blown out his candles and he's been doing very well at school so we're going to be able to choose his new trait. 
He's already got family oriented. He threw a wish to be a magician. So I gave him a natural born performer extra trait and then later I put him in the magician career. So that's the final birthday party we're going to be having. It's the 15th birthday party actually we've had. Or well, the 16th because Byron aged up here as well. Even though he was an imaginary friend. Yeah, there's more and more coming. Now it's time for cake. So we'll leave the birthday party then. So now we've got all of Jerry's children are now young adults. So there's Javin going home. It's good that the ones that don't live here anymore will drop in occasionally for a visit, especially when it's a special occasion. Percy's got back to working on his gardening skill. He's got to get ready to move out. He's going to be going very soon. Kathy's just finished her shift at the diner and she's standing just outside the door reading something that she needs to read. She's going to move out soon too. Percy's moved upstairs to sit on the couch to read some more books. We've got random sims sitting around reading recipes and fishing books all over the house at the moment. That's Frank. He is going to be moving out soon as well. When he goes on vacation with Felicia, he won't be back coming back to live here. They'll be moving out to their own home. And Felicia, she got to the point where she was almost at level 10 in cooking. So I allowed her to get to level 10 and now she is reading the final cooking book. So she's going to be able to make angel food cake and ambrosia and I think creviche as well well so that's why she's still reading and she's going to collect all of those gemstones that she's made by cracking space rocks and she'll continue learning all the gem cuts connie's increasing her cooking skill and providing lots of leftovers for the household there's wendy she'll be going on vacation with wilfred in the next episode after felicia and frank get back from their vacation and move out. Kathy's still reading outside the diner and as you can see home from where she's standing she hasn't got far to go but she's just standing there reading recipes and fishing books. Looks like Felicia wasn't happy with the number of gemstones that were available for her to cut on the gem cutting machine. She's making some more by breaking some more space rocks. I think that's Dem Demetria doing the martial arts on the training dummy as well. They seem to enjoy the training dummy. A lot of them have got up to level 10 in their martial arts skill now. Kendall's gone off to the festival grounds to perform for tips. He's going to have to work on his magician skills. This is his first attempt, so he's really bad at it so far. This is unusual. Frank's moved upstairs to one of the upstairs bedrooms. We almost never see inside them, so I'll show you him. He is, of course, reading more skill books. This is one of the bedrooms that came with the house. Latoya had a wish to find some seeds, so I sent her off to the greenhouse. The wish doesn't seem to be satisfied if she picks up the money tree seeds that fall on the floor in their own garden at home. There's Byron walking across. So she's satisfied her wish. She's picked up some seeds. We'll leave her here now. She can pick up some of those suns and when she's finished collecting them she can go home. She'll sell the suns. Jerry has a wish to discover a potion but she keeps getting singed. Here she is chatting with her daughter Constance in the kitchen. I think she needs to have a shower. Then she can go back to trying to discover the potion again. I'm sure she'll get singed many more times before she discovers that elusive potion. Yes, Jerry's had a shower. She's there in the middle getting ready to start trying to discover a new potion. Her two daughters, Demetria and Dolores, they have wishes to make specific potions. They've already discovered all of the potions that can be discovered on the chemistry table. Kendall's come home from the festival grounds. There's Joni just walking across. Dolores is there painting and Megan and Constance are chatting and Kendall's actually chatting with this it's, it's a threesome chat so now Kendall leaves the conversation and he, and he finishes that painting that he started ages ago I like to make them finish their paintings there's Kobe, Wilfred and Megan having a chat. Wilfred's the one who's going to go on vacation with Wendy shortly and we haven't seen him so far in this episode. Finally, Alicia's decided to start collecting those gemstones. She must think she's got enough there now. Then she'll start cutting them on the gem cutting machine. Eventually she gets up to sun cut, I think. That I think she's just about learned all of the different cuts by the end of this episode. It's amazing that most of those fish all still seem to be alive. It's been a quite a few episodes now since Demetria got her lifetime wish by having a perfect private aquarium. The thing is, I've just been ignoring them. It's the Sims themselves that have looked after them. That Wilfred. Kendall didn't get too far with that ice sculpture so far. And there's Alicia starting to cut her gems. So the skill building and the studying and the reading still continue as does this getting singed by Jerry. And here she is. She's decided she's going to stay singed and just read a book outside under the gazebo. 
And Kendall finally gets back to his ice sculpture. He just learned how to make a lion. He's not very good at sculpting yet, so he will sell that one as soon as he's finished it, because it'll melt. And it looks like Felicia managed to do some spire cut Tiberium there. That'll be worth a bit when it finally finishes growing. And Dolores is still painting. Percy sure gets around. Now he's down on the garden level reading his books. As you can see, he's now had a haircut. I was a little concerned that that really long hair, which was custom content, I thought it might be using up too much memory in my game because it kept crashing. So I changed it to his hair to something that came with Supernatural and I don't think it did much with the game not crashing anymore. We're still having little issues, but I'm learning how to cope with it. I think it's probably been going for too long and I'm hoping I can nurse it through until we get this badge. There's Kathy reading outside the diner again and Latoya wanted to play guitar in the park for tips and that's what she's doing. And while she was there, we saw a few of the locals that don't live with them anymore or who have never lived with them before. That's Ben. And I think that female is a tourist. And I got a surprise when Lynette walked past. And there's Lynette. Look how she's walking. She is obviously pregnant. I didn't give them approval for that. But then I don't need to because they live on their own now. And they're the two that got married at Oasis Landing. Lynette and Larry. And there she is. She was at the wedding in her blue wedding dress earlier in this episode. She wasn't supposed to wear her wedding dress to somebody else's wedding, but she did. Somebody keeps making nectar in that nectar machine. And here we've got a group reading session. It's good that Wendy is getting her reading done as well because she might won't have so much study left to do when it's time for her and Kendall to head off on their vacation. Percy and Kathy are cramming their last little bit because Percy and Kathy are each going to move out. They're going to move separately into about each into their own little, little houses. Hello, Felicia's back to picking up the gemstones. She must want to cut some more. There's Connie and Wilfred having a chat and Jerry's trying to catch up with some of her reading. She doesn't have many skills and has hardly read anything at all. I found Kobe down here trying out the karaoke machine. He didn't have permission to do that either but he did. He stayed there till he broke it and then he slunk off. I'm gonna make him come back and fix it. He won't like that. There he is. He's gonna fix it. Good on you Kobe. You gotta fix what you break. That's Demetria carrying a drink. These sims are all on full free will so they get up to all sorts of things without me knowing what is going to happen next. Every so often I will tell somebody to do something but a lot of it is just me playing catch up as to what's going on now. And we've got a group over there sitting around the table reading books now. Kobe's not happy but he's fixed it. And there goes Wendy. She's going to join the group at the table. Oh yes, yeah, she's going to read a book. And that nectar making machine is still going. I'm going to reset it. I'm sure that it can't possibly be still trying to make nectar. I haven't told anyone to use use it but obviously somebody does keep going there and telling it to do something. I've seen them come out of there after working on the machine but I forget who it was now it was ages ago. It's good to see Wilfred and Wendy finally having a chat. I haven't seen them talking to each other before. She's been in the house for a couple of episodes now. They will be going on vacation next after Frank and Felicia. They're going to have to get to know each other really well if they're going to get married and have babies together because that's what she's here for. Percy had to go to City Hall to collect an award. The Sim who gave him the award made quite a speech. He said, On behalf of the citizens of Cake Island, it is my honour to award the Gardening Heroes Trophy to Percy. Many times I have strolled past your gorgeous gardens and admired your green thumb and bountiful plants. Your gardening skills provide the citizens of Cake Island with delicious fresh food to eat and beautiful plants to gaze upon. Your talent and knowledge in the realm of gardening is unrivaled. And while he was there, he went to a charisma class because, well, he had a wish to do that and he's about to move out. And after he's done his charisma class and after he'd accepted at his Gardening Hero Award, he quit the gardening career and joined the political career and became a podium polisher. Having done all of that, it's time for him to move out now. So he's ringing out the real estate, he's going to find himself a house. So here he is at home in his new house and he's cooking because he's hungry, making himself right at home. I think this might have been a house that somebody else has been 
clean because I've already made it over. It's got a new fridge and stove and everything so I don't need to add anything new unless it's something he specifically needs. And I think he might need a chest to store his stuff in and a few other little odds and ends that I might add for him. He obviously needs a desk of some sort because he's, there's a laptop sitting on the dining table and he's got to sit in a lounge chair to eat. But there's a new baby boy in town. Here is Lynette with her little son. This is one another grandchild for Jerry that won't count towards the 30 grandchildren because we can't leave Jerry's house once that 30 grandchildren start arriving. Otherwise the game won't count them. So he won't be counted. Which is a bit sad, but that's life, isn't it? So luckily there's a nice modern crib from the future that he can go and lie in. And I bought him an imaginary friend teddy bear to put in his cot because he didn't get an imaginary friend friend he wasn't born in the main household so there we go I noticed his father Larry wasn't at home so I went looking for him and found him with his sister-in-law Alicia in a bar somewhere I think it was a hot spot there's another new baby boy in town and he lives in this house on the corner remember we had a wedding earlier well they've had their baby let's go meet him since both of his parents are imaginary friends made real this little boy will be a born in game imaginary friend he can't miss out, can he, if all of his DNA is from mother imaginary friend and father imaginary friend. We'll go and see if she can put him in his cot. I'm sure there must be one here somewhere. All of these houses that came with the game are all very well appointed. So there he goes into his cot and I bought him a genie teddy bear. I went looking for his daddy as well and I got distracted in my search when I came across this pair. There's Kobe gambling at the little casino and that's Tracy Burns there also gambling at the little casino. She's supposed to be at home with her own babies but she's often out and about. We always see her wandering around town. She is is the partner of Kobe's father, Tony McLean, and they and Tracy and Tony have a toddler son who was Kobe's now very much younger half brother. And speaking of Tony McLean, there he is visiting his children. He's in the red check shirt there in the kitchen. Down in the basement, Kathy's getting taught a bit about her fitness level and she's learning some athletic skill, getting a bit of a workout. Megan's been training her. It's time for Kathy to leave though. She's going to move out, but so she's just tr trying to squeeze in a little bit of fitness training before she has to move on because she won't have this equipment when she moves into her own house. This level has only got partial floor because the most of it is left blank for the trees to grow up because it's just above the garden and right directly below where they're standing is where the area where we have the birthday parties. That's Demetria that was just with them, they just walked off. So there's the garden and the birthday party area is over a bit further. So that's it from Kathy. She's going to move to her own house now. This is the house that Ursula Gammon moved out of. It just wasn't big enough for her with two toddlers. But Kathy will fit in nicely and it's directly across the street from the main household. So she hasn't gone far from home. And that's Brian's house across the street. He's the first imaginary friend who was made real. I think Kathy will be happy here. She's got everything she needs, but you never know what this game will do. I haven't set any controls preventing her from being moved out. We'll just see what happens. Now this is what we've all been waiting for. Felicia and Frank have arrived at the base camp in the Great Southern Land. But we've run out of time, unfortunately. So they won't be able to do much exploring before the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and maybe even a comment. And in the next episode, we'll do a thorough search of what is in the Great Southern Land because I think they're going to meet some very interesting new sims. Bye bye for now. Thank you for watching and happy simming. And if you're still here, thank you for getting for watching all the way to the end of the video. I'm just going to show you a little bit around the base camp. I'd like to show you the dome as well, but I think that might be pushing our luck. It'll take a bit too long. But I will get to work on the next video straight away. Bye-bye for now and thank you for watching.